to American Hats. I'm Reverend Morgan Thomas, and we're going to show you today how we go about making our beautiful, fabulous hat. It's a puzzle piece, you have to take it all apart. Our signature hat is a satin ribbon, in which we fold the satin ribbon over crinoline, because the crinoline, the heat, and the air gives it a very uh, solid and permanent shaping. Been doing this uh, 31 years. Put the iron all over the rope marks so that way all the groups can stay in there. As you steam it, it stays nice and crisp. You have to take out all these air bubbles. When I first bought the factory, there were only dress hats here, and I mean blinged out dress hats. And what we started doing, we started looking at velour. We were already making felt hats, but we started making uh, more sophisticated and stylish hats out of felt and out of velour. These are felt hats. So we have a hat that's just been blocked. It's been cut, but we have to put the sweatband on the inside. The machines are from the 1920s and 30s. They've never been replaced. These machines are really made for millinery. They have special feet on them so that the ribbon can go through. We are not just a factory. We're a couture factory. And we, you know, have a color palette. We match the color uh, that they need for their hats. And then they have a couture hat. This space here, um, we sort of converted it into more of a retail space. This is a chenille. This is a cloche. These are our men's fedoras. Now this is uh, something here. One of the things that I ended up buying was a lot of vintage material because the materials had been here. And so we were able to do some of our designs with materials that you just can't even find anymore. Who are your typical customers? We have young women who are looking for hats to look like Meghan Markle, and so they come in and they buy a fascinator. This is a fascinator. You see Kate Middleton, Meghan Markle, that they all wear that sort of sits on the side of their head. And then we have those derby lovers who plan that are calling us now, looking to get ready for the Devon Horse Show. And then, of course, we have our gentlemen who want something really special, and they come in and we do custom hats for them. Why do you think that is such a tradition on Easter, especially, of wearing a hat? Well, on Easter Sunday, a hat was a symbol of wealth. When the Easter parade started on Fifth Avenue, it was because the women who had means went to St. Patrick's Cathedral. And then after church, they wanted everybody to see their hats. So they would just take a stroll down Fifth Avenue. And then that kind of trickled across the country. We focus on quality material and then keeping our price economically suitable. We're not about being the most expensive hat, um, you know, in, in the market. We're about being the most beautiful and the most quality and the classy um, hat that you can find in the market. <laughs>